Now the painting is completely dry and it needs to be because we want to move into doing the darks in the palm fronds down here. The building we want to do darker along with the, the uh, tree trunk, the palm tree trunk. And then down the bottom here we've got again uh, some fallen palm fronds and coconuts and so forth. So we're going to address that area and have a little more detail down there. So let's get back to our painting. All right, I'm going to take some hooker green deep. I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue deep. And then we'll have a variety of color again. We're going to take a little bit of our yellow ochre a little bit of our hooker green to get more of a sap green look. And we're going to come in and we're going to start introducing some of these darks. So we don't, again, want it all just one color, so we're going to stay with a variety like we did before. And I'm not painting every bit of it. I'm going to leave some of the light showing through in the trees up here. Again, to give you that what we call pushing and pulling, meaning that there's some areas that are forward on these palm fronds that are lighter, and then some are darker, of course. And this is sort of fun, you know, again, it takes you a little while to, to do these, but once you start doing these palm trees, you'll have a lot of fun with them. As I mentioned earlier, there was a time when I thought I wouldn't want to paint another palm tree because I painted so many of them, but, you know, it's uh, every once in a while you're rejuvenated. I visited the Keys and, and got turned on to doing some more palm trees, so we're doing one for you today. All right, see by adding some darks. Now, I may want to get a little darker just in a couple areas up here, okay? And again, we're not painting the entire frond. We're just adding some darks to make it more interesting to create a more push and pull depth in our painting. Like this. Lots of fun, lots of fun, lots of fun. Now, not to confuse you, but there's uh, about 350 different species of palm trees. But the, probably the most typical ones are the coconut palms that you see, uh, mostly in southern Florida, and the native palm trees that you see in the southeast called cabbage palms by some, but they're actually called sable palms. So now we've got an interesting coconut palm here. Now what I want to do is I want to come into the, the tree trunk itself. So I'm going to come down, do the same idea with some dark greens that we did before, and we'll start putting in a little bit of this dark on the palm tree. Now let me make a suggestion to you that I think will help you. When you're doing tree trunks and branches of a tree, whether it be a leafy tree, a palm tree, or whatever, as a general rule it is a good idea to have the palm tree, or the trunk of the tree, I should say, or the branches of the tree, done basically with the similar colors that you have uh, in the foliage. The reason for that is that you don't want a burnt sienna tree trunk, so you're jumping from red to green, green to red, red to green. What you want to do is you want color harmony. So in order to achieve color harmony, it's important that you use pretty much the same colors. Now, you can add a little warmth to the palm tree if you want. That's not a problem. But what I'm simply saying is that be very careful to make sure that you have color harmony going on with the tree trunks, etc. Now see how simple that was? We just came in and painted some darks in the fronds and then the tree trunk. Now we can also come down into the area behind this area here and do the same idea. We can come in and just suggest that we have some areas that are darker and the palm trees and some that are lighter. So you have a choice or a variety going on of, of light and dark, not just all one. So we'll put a few areas that might be a little darker in the palm trees over here. Keeping it simple, don't get too carried away. Not everywhere, just you know a few areas here and there. You want several of these to be maybe a little darker, some a little lighter. It gives you again that that look of depth in your painting that's important. Don't want to get too dark, but just a couple areas. See the difference now? You're getting that pushing and pulling where it's sort of flat. Gives you that nice, interesting look. Just a, a few areas. Keeping it abstract looking, make it more interesting. 